Welcome back everybody. It's been crazy here over the last week. We have picked probably about six equivalent buckets like this from our tomato plants, both green and red tomatoes. We have our first frost this week and now it's time to put some of these tomatoes to use. The first thing that we're gonna make is taco sauce. And to do that, our first step is gonna to be to take our red tomatoes. We're going to take off any stems. We're gonna wash them. We're gonna cut out any bruises or bad spots. And then we're gonna core and seed them. And once we get that done, I will be right back with you. Well, I've got my first bit of tomatoes done, um, washed them and then um, cored, made sure I got all the seeds out. I'm gonna get these into my food processor and I'm gonna continue with this process until I have about six cups of pureed tomato. I have my six cups of pureed tomato. Um, in case anybody's interested, I used primarily my San Marzano and Roma tomatoes from the tomatoes that we collected prior to the frost to make the six cups. Now the rest of the tomatoes I'm using to make a peach salsa. What you couldn't see off camera was Steve peeling and dicing up peaches to go in with that. Wanted to give a shout out. Thank you, Melissa, for the peaches and uh, let's get on to what we're going to be using to make our taco sauce our ingredients for this recipe along with our pureed tomato are going to be vinegar sugar onion powder chili powder cayenne pepper iodized salt is what i'm using you can use sea salt or whatever if you prefer i'm using regular paprika cumin and garlic powder let's get this over to the stove I have my sauce pot on my stove and we're going to start with our six cups of pureed tomato. Now we're going to add six tablespoons of white vinegar. So count these out so I don't make a mistake. So we got one, two, three, four, five. I'll go a little short on the six since I went over. Six. So we have six tablespoons of white vinegar. Three tablespoons of ground cumin. So we got one, two, three. Six teaspoons of onion powder. So one, two, three, four five and six. Next, we're going to put in three teaspoons of garlic powder. Now this recipe can be cut back. Um, what I'll put on our recipe page is the um, two cup, but you can bump that up to make a six cup like we're doing here. And now I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half of salt. So there's my teaspoon and my half. Next is going to be a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. And this is something if you like it a little spicier, you can add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of paprika. And if you like yours a little more smoky, you could use smoked paprika, but I like more the sweetness of your regular paprika. And to cut the acid of the tomatoes, we're adding three teaspoons of just a regular white sugar. So there's our three teaspoons. And last but certainly not least is a teaspoon and a half of cayenne pepper. And this is what really gives it a little bit of a kick. So again, if you like your taco sauce hotter, you can add a little more cayenne pepper. So now I'm just gonna stir all this together. And what I'm gonna do is bring this to a simmer over a low heat. I'm gonna cook it until it starts to thicken slightly. That usually takes about 20 minutes. Now you can then cool it. If you're making a smaller batch, put it in the fridge to use. Um, I'm actually gonna be canning this. So let me get this back. Um, with a cover on it. We're going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes after we get 
get it up um, to, you know, so it's bubbling just a little bit. And then I'll be back and show you what it looks like. So we have our taco sauce up to a simmer. So I'm just gonna stir this occasionally and we're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. So we're at the end of our 20 minutes of simmering this on top of the stove. And it's at a good thickness for me. If you want it a little bit thicker, you can simmer it a little bit longer. If you don't want it as chunky, you can put it through a sieve so you have a smoother sauce. I like it this way, so I'm gonna take this and we're gonna see how many jars we can fill with it to go into the canner. We ended up with 12 quarter pint jars. Now that would be the equivalent of three pints and that was using the six cups of pureed tomato. So I put it into my sterilized jars. I'm going to leave a half inch of headspace for each jar. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my vinegar and a cloth and I'm gonna wipe down the edges of the jars. I'm gonna wipe down the threads. It's important to make sure you don't have anything on those before you put your lids on. Then the jars will be ready to put on the lids and the rings and then they'll be ready to go into the hot water bath canner. So I'm putting the jars into the hot water bath canner. Once I get these back to a boil, then we'll be doing a 30 minute timer and then they'll be ready to take out. It's the next morning, our jars have cooled. So we have our 12 quarter pint jars of our taco sauce. Now you can jar these in bigger jars if that works better for your family. With Steve and I, it's just the two of us. This is a good size to open um, when we're having something that requires taco sauce. It might leave a little bit in the fridge, but we're not opening a big jar. Now, <clears throat> something I wanted to touch base on, a question I wanted to ask my viewers out there is, I would really like to know how you are you know, working with things in our economy. How are you adding things to your pantry that help you maybe save some money, make sure that you've got the things on your shelf that you need. Um, we do this because it really does help us to save with the high prices at the grocery stores. Um, we have moved in to getting a lot of our condiments on the shelf. Um, Often people talk about what you need to store on the shelf as far as your basics. And basics are awesome, you have to have those. But when you think about what really makes a meal a meal and makes it enjoyable are the condiments that you add. So that's why we've been adding these videos in. And I'd love to hear what you're doing to save money at the grocery store, to put things onto your pantry shelf and to help you out um, during these more difficult financial times. And I'm sure the rest of our community would love to get some tips or information from you as well. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. And until next time, everybody, take care.